Hello friends, welcome to Fella Fell. Today we are starting UPSC 2026 series. So this is episode 1 and this is an important topic, body mass index. And this has been asked for various competitive exams like UPSC, IPGT, etc. And I will also include recent update on Asian population. As you all know, BMI is body mass index. So body mass index is when you calculate, you should know the exact formula. So it is weight in kg divided by height in meter square. So this is all, this itself is an important MCQ point. So remember that body mass index is an is not a diagnostic tool. It is a screening tool. Okay. So it helps in screening various. It helps in screening various uh, diseases like diabetes, CAD, coronary artery disease, etc. Okay. So let's move on. And this is the classification. So we have two different things here. One is for global population and another one is for Indian population. Remember that for Indian population there is a change and why there is a difference or why the BMI is less in Indian population because Indian population especially they have increased visceral fat and also they have uh, insulin resistance is also one of the issue for this. And let's see each classification. So under underweight, you have less than 18.5 kg per meter square. So underweight will be seen in conditions like malnutrition, malnutrition like PEM, protein energy malnutrition, quashia, but all such things, this underweight you have to see. And normal, the ideal BMI, that is the normal one, that is the ranges from 18.5 to 24.99. And Indian population, it is 18.5 to 22.99. Okay, so next one is overweight. This is 25 to 29.99. And Indian population, it is 23 to 24.99. Then this is at risk type of BMI. So this population is considered as at risk population. So here you can expect diseases like coronary artery disease, diabetes, etc. Okay, then obesity. So in global population, it is more than 30 and Indian population is more than 25. So Indians are five years ahead. Okay. Now you have another two important types that is class one and class two obesity. So these two are always asked as an MCQ. Class one obesity had also been asked. So class one obesity, the value is 30.0 to 34.99 and Indian population, it is 25 to 29.99. So class 2 obesity is again 35.0 to 39.99 and Indian population it is more than 30. So you have one more classification which you, we usually forget that is the class 3. So the normal BMI which we have studied is up to obesity and overweight. So these three classes you should remember. So the third one is severe, extreme or massive. That should That is more than or equal to 40. Okay, now one more classification you should remember is lethal BMI, which we are not, which, which we haven't learned before. So the BMI value of 13 is considered as lethal. Lethal in the sense it is very dangerous. So when it is less than 30, it is considered as lethal in men. And females, it will stand as average even at lower BMI, up to 11. Why? Because again, uh, for female, because of the... Uh, their hormonal changes and the amount of fat the body has. That's why the, they can withstand little more lower BMI. So BMI value of 13 is considered as lethal in men and female, they can withstand and survive even at lower BMI. So the rate is up to 11. Okay. So here you can expect a question from this class 1 obesity. And again, the lethal BMI you should remember and also you should know the various causes for overweight, underweight, and also for class 3, obesity, you should never forget, that is severe. And also the formula for BMI, never forget, that is height in kg by, sorry, weight in kg by height in meter square. Also remember that this is not a diagnostic tool. BMI is a screening tool. Okay, so when you come to SPM, you will get questions like screen. So BMI is an important question from SPM part. They always ask about screening and health promotional protection, all such things. Even for uh, 
prevention thing also you should remember the various types of classification like you have primary prevention primordial prevention secondary prevention etc so when you know the bmi of the patient you should know they comes under which level of prevention so it is not just a diagnostics tool tool it is a screening tool this itself will be an mcq so that's all about bmi thank you all